Well, I would describe genome engineering as a, uh, a technology that enables scientists to make very precise changes in the DNA of a cell. CRISPR actually refers to a bacterial immune system. And what we did in our work was to figure out how to harness that system for genome engineering. And we, take, we were able to use a protein that's made in bacteria to defend bacteria from viral infection and use that protein to make targeted changes in the DNA of, of animal and plant cells. It started off as a curiosity-driven project to understand how bacteria fight the flu effectively. And in the course of that research, we realized that the enzyme Cas9 used in the CRISPR system could be programmed to recognize essentially any uh, DNA sequence, generate a double-stranded DNA break, and then cells will repair the break by introducing a small change in the DNA sequence. Well, you know, I would say in human health, um, some of the applications that I think will be forthcoming uh, probably most, most quickly are going to be doing things like um, curing genetic disease, being able to fix the gene mutation that causes cystic fibrosis, fix the gene mutation that causes sickle cell anemia. Um, there was recently a story using a, uh, an older technology for genome engineering to cure a young uh, patient, a one-year-old girl who had leukemia using uh, cell therapy. And we think that this te our technology will be uh, very applicable to that kind of strategy as well. I have been very interested in, um, in organizing a, really a global conversation about the ethics of editing in certain, uh, for certain kinds of applications. And the two that are really on people's minds right now are uh, in environmental uh, applications that where uh, uh, scientists are able to do things like eliminate a, an entire species using genome engineering uh, through, a, uh, through a sort of a, an approach that, uh, called gene drive that can cause entire species to go extinct in principle. Um, and the other application that, that really is on people's minds is uh, human embryo editing. It almost sounds like science fiction to think that you know, we could actually change the course of human evolution by um, engineering the human genome in, in, in embryos in such a way that those uh, mutations would be, or changes would be passed on to future generations. And um, it, of course, raises very significant ethical concerns, societal uh, concerns. And um, at the same time is something that, in principle, could be useful for ridding the human genome of deleterious mutations.